Hello friends, this is Nageshwar and welcome to my channel ITBot143. In my previous tutorial, I have shown how to install Server 2008 and how to create Active Directory Domain Controller. Now, in this tutorial, I will show how to create users and how to put all of the users into a group in Windows Server 2008 in very easiest way. So, here, what is the user? User is a person who uses a computer or network service. Normally, he is provided with a username and a password to enter into the computer. So, why we need groups? If you want a particular shared folder to a particular unit in your organization, without groups in your active directory, we need to go each individual unit account and give that account access to that shared folder. That's a very time consuming process. Instead of that, if we put all of the users in that unit by creating a group and you can give very easily access to that particular unit users. So, now I will show how to create users and groups. He Here I am using server 2008 which is running on VirtualBox. So let's start creation process. Just click on start in come to administrative tools. Here you can find Active Directory, Users and Computers. Just click on that. Okay, now it is showing Active Directory, Users and Computers. So, in my previous tutorial, uh, I have created my domain as internet.com. Okay, just click on this plus thing. Now it is showing built-in computers, domain controllers and users. Okay, now First of all, to create uh, groups and users, uh, first of all, I want to create one organizational unit. So, what is organizational unit? Organizational unit is just a folder for organizational purpose to keep your Active Directory nice and clean. You can add different groups to that organizational unit. Okay, let's start the organizational unit so just select your domain and right click on that come to new there you will find organizational unit okay now it is asking for the name so uh, I'm giving block one okay so in your organization you have different blocks and uh, so, for that, uh, you can create separate uh, organizational unit for that separate blocks. Okay, after that, please select protect container from accidental deletion. Okay, after that, just click on. Okay. Yeah, now I created my organizational unit. Again, I want to create one more unit for my different organization so i will keep block two okay and click on okay right now i created uh, two organizational units now come to the groups okay so just click on organizational unit and just right click on this blank area and come to new there you will find group so select that now it is asking for your group name so in your organization uh, there are so many blocks and in that block different fields people are working so here it is asking for the group name so now I will give, give my group name as research okay 
I will bring all the users from the reaches into this group. And after that, in group scope, please select global only. Defaultly, it is giving global. Just select that one. And group type, please uh, select security. Okay, after that, just click on OK. Okay, now it is created one group. And after that, I want to create one more group. Uh, now, I will give name it as technical. So, from all the persons from the technical, I will put into this group. Okay. Again, please select global and security. Just click on. Okay. Now, I have created two groups. Now, come to the users. So, come to users. There, it is already giving uh, usernames administrator and so here just i want to create few users so just select users and come to right panel in blank area come to new there you find user so select that one okay now it is asking for the first name okay um Okay, just uh, give your user login name and here you can find it is showing internet.com. This is my domain name. Okay, and after that, just click on, sorry. Okay, just click on next. Now it is asking for your password for that username so just type it as okay and confirm the password and after that here user must change password at next to logon so I'm deselecting this and I'm selecting this user cannot change password because I'm administrator I can change the password but uh, if you give this uh, they can change their password so that is very difficult to for us so I'm selecting this and I'm selecting password never expires okay just click on next okay now it is showing that user user account details so just click on finish okay now it is showing Windows cannot set the password for Raju Manu because the password does not meet the password policy requirements. So check the minimum password length and password complexity and password history requirement. So come to back. Here I gave it as pass123. So I typed uh, small letters and numerical123. So I will change small uh, p into capital letter. Okay. And after that um okay now click on next and finish so now it is created so password must be uh, as per the requirement and after that again come to users and click on new and again i'm creating one more user so Okay, just click on next. Here I'm giving same password. And after that, uh, please select user cannot change the password and password never expires. Okay, after that, just click on next. Here uh, you can disable that account also. So just click on next finish it 
so now uh, it is created uh, if you want to see these properties just double click on that and please come to member okay now it is showing the he is a member of domain user intranet.com okay now this is a uh, basic user creation now I want to create with administrator privileges okay for that just click on administrator right click and select copy now it is asking for pass uh, username okay and okay just click on next now it is asking for the password again type it So I'm selecting user cannot change password password never expires okay just click on next otherwise uh, for this you can select this also user must change password at next logon because it is having the uh, administrator privileges okay for okay. next and finish it okay now we uh, just click on this now you can find member of it is showing the is the member of administrators domain administrator domain users enterprise administrator and schema admins so now if you want to see your administrator privileges please double click on that come to member of and same thing you will find from here okay click on this now i want to send this to my groups okay i have created two groups research and technical so i want to uh, add few users into the reaches okay just um select that and double double click on that and come to members okay just click on add so first type if you not remember that uh, username just uh type at least two letters and click on check names now it is showing one account so just click on ok and after that again come to add and ok it is not there uh, okay click on okay and i'm adding one more and it is and no okay just cancel it cancel and just click on apply okay now come to users so select this Lee Mary now come to the member of now you can find this here it is showing the group name research I created the group so I add this uh, user account into this group okay just click on okay and like this uh, we can create usernames and uh, groups and before that uh, it is better to create organizational units so with that uh, we can find a nice and clean active directory okay and let's try to log in with this user IDs so just start um, log off okay come to delete okay this is my administrator privileges so, one second
now i will show how to uh, use this usernames so for that just come to start and here just select switch user okay now come to input and now it is uh, showing this is my domain administrator and here uh, I'm getting one more thing other user just select this okay now Now, I cannot log in into this because I have created this username with, uh, this is the basic user. Now, I have created uh, one more username with administrator privileges. Let's check it. Yes, now I have login with my username. So again, uh, come to administrator. Now it is showing intranet Emily. It this is also having uh, username with administrator privileges. Okay, I'm selecting this and. there is okay now like this you can create usernames groups and organizational unit so uh, thank you viewers uh, i hope this will helpful you uh, in creating usernames and groups so if you like this video please click on like button and please share this with your friends and please uh, visit my channel itbird 143 to watch more latest uploaded videos and please don't forget to subscribe my channel itabot143 and thank you friends have a nice day